Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about buying Magic the Gathering cards on eBay, what to look out for, and my personal experience. When I was in middle school, I used to buy and sell a ton on eBay, and then I went to Magic Online Trading League, and I shipped dozens of packages every week um, during Christmas time, probably a few hundred packages every week. Most of the dual lands I was getting went to Europe, most of Power 9. At that time, I was still shipping Power 9, went to Europe, and then some random EDH cards went just all over the place. So at the end of the day, Magic Online Trading League was very good because it had a reputation system and you didn't want to anger someone because then they would drag your name through the mud in the community. They would put your personal information, they would put your address, they would put your phone number, they would contact the police in your local area. There was a severe rep repercussion if you sold a fake Magic card, and there still is. In this case, eBay is just like, just refund them the money and we're good. And you don't even need to leave a negative review. That is eBay, and that's what the current status is. So buy Magic, card, Magic, Magic the Gathering cards from eBay. You do have PayPal protection, which is nice. But most, do you really want to deal with the stress? Do you want to deal with hours of your time wasted on one card? Probably not. I want to say I would want to do it. This is their current auction for Tropical Islands. It looks about right. He has 356 uh, sales and 13 bids on this. He's you know, a long-term power seller. Uh, 356 sales, but he only has about you know, 70, looks like 79 reviews. 79 out of 350. It's like, let's say it's 25%. So 25% of people actually leave a review. A lot of times when someone leaves a negative review or someone has a negative experience, they don't leave a review. That's just how eBay works. Under the reviews for the negative reviews, he sent out a fake card, Lion's Side Diamond, before the uh, spike at $81. That's not a price you see Lion's Eye Diamond normally at. But yeah, I mean, you have to look at the negative reviews if they are selling fake cards, if they are not shipping the cards they told you, don't deal with the stress. The stress, like if I were to buy a card, the stress would cost me more than dealing with PayPal, you know, taking scans of the thing, sending it back. It's just overall overwhelming and not worth my time and not worth your time either to deal with fake cards on eBay. So my advice to you is you have to see these cards in person for many reasons. Number one, they could be counterfeit. Number two, conditioning. Unless you have a very high resolution scan, you can't tell the conditioning from a, a camera shot on a potato. It's just not possible. And the conditioning on cards over $100 does matter when you try to buy list them out. Uh, Strike Zone Online is very strict and I like that. I like places that are strict because I keep my cards in good condition. Anyway, that's it. Uh, share, leave me a comment below with your worst eBay experience. I'm sure we're going to, you know, have a few bad ones. Anyway, bye guys.